13 things to avoid if you want to become rich. A lot of people struggle financially and they think to themselves, oh no, oh no, you know what? I cannot become rich because I don't have enough money or I don't have any, enough capital. I don't have the right idea or I am not in the right industry or I, have, I don't have the right connections. You know, from my experience, that's not always most people make people back. What holds more, most people back is that is ego. That's right, ego. Now you may be thinking, no, I don't have any ego. What are you talking about? I'm just struggling financially. I don't have enough money. No, that's not true. Ego comes in many disguises. When I was broken, I had many, many of these egos that, that was holding me back. Today, I'm going to share with you 13 of that. Comment below if you feel fine about it. And if you think you don't have any, that is exactly a great lie. Number one, the blame ego. See, lame people blame people. The blame ego says, that is not my fault. It's the government fault. It's the economy. It's the industry. It's, it's my co-workers. It's my parents. You know what? I come from a very poor family and that is why I become rich. All my, my friends are poor, that's why I become rich. My supervisor is holding me back. I can never become rich. The blame ego always says this. Someone else is this fault. They always point fingers someone else. When you are pointing finger to someone else, one finger, then three fingers are back. Do you have this ego? Do you blame other people? Do you make excuses? That maybe the one is holding you back. Number two, the know-it-all ego. When I was broke, I knew it all. I knew that I knew everything. Guess what? None of them worked. I thought I knew what I was talking about. Guess what? I didn't know shit. You don't know shit. See that know-it-all always making you back. Keep doing same thing again and again and different results. That's a very definition of incentive. Know-it-all ego. Number three, the fearful ego. You, you see what holds a lot of people back? Fear, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of making a mistake. Think about it before you do something. You say to yourself, what if it doesn't work? What, what if I lose money? What if, what if I, I make a mistake? What happens? What, what, what if I don't know what to do? I think what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, doesn't work. You see, you always remember fear is that false evidence appearing weird is nothing more than a made up story on your own mind. Do you have the fearful ego holding you back? Number four, the comfort zone ego. He says, I'm comfortable. I'm happy where I am. I'm content. Oh, things are fine. I don't need to be that ambitious. That's the problem. Your income zone is your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is your I income zone. When you get com comfortable, you're not growing. Remember, when you're not growing, you are dying. Do you have this ego that is holding you back right now? What are you gonna do about it? Number five, the judgmental ego. I want you to imagine this. You're walking down the streets and suddenly you're, you, mm, a nice man is running the car, a red Ferrari you can see or a rich car is passing by you what's the first thoughts come into your mind comment below no filter no editor what's the very first thought come to your mind uh, my guess is he is a very rich man of a rich father maybe his parents are very rich actually you know probably maybe this is not his money this is how you think you people. Maybe if this is a woman, maybe she's a gold digger or something. That's you judge other. My question is to you, how do you know? How do you know? It's all made up stories in your mind, right? Oh, you say, he's not that good. She's not that pretty. He's not that smart. You are judging other people. You're projecting your own insecurity, your own values to other people.
How do you know that man is not a hardworking man? How do you know his daughter, he, he is not a good husband? How do you know he is not a family man? How do you know he, maybe he has worked 20, 30 years, that's why he is here today? How do you know? You judge, you come to your own conclusions before even you talk about it personally. How you got successful? How you ever gonna be rich? That's the image you have for the people who are successful. Number six, the excuses ego. You, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you cannot do both. An excuse is nothing more than well planned lie. You see the excuses ego says, well, I cannot afford it, I don't have money, all right? Oh, oh, that's too far. Oh, no, that's too, too difficult. Oh, I don't have any experience. It's always I can't, I can't, and I can't. I don't know how. You see, so you can have a million excuses why you cannot do something when you need one damn good excuse to do it. Number seven, the people pleasing ego. Well, just you make sure everybody is happy, everybody is okay. Right now, I know. I don't want to rock the board. As long as everyone is okay, I am okay. You try to please people too much. You always put other people first. Nothing wrong with that, but sometimes in life you have to put yourself first. Even you're flying on an air airplane, you gotta put on your own oxygen mask first before you help someone else. Sometimes in life you have to put yourself first. You have to be a little bit selfish so that you can be generous. Comment below if you really like it. You always put your family first, other people first. My questions to you is that, what about you? You might think so selfless. You're being selfish. That's people pleasing ego you play. Number eight, it's a justification ego. You justify why you don't do something you justify why you can't do. I am too young, I'm too old, I'm, I'm an immigrant, I speak with an accent, I don't have enough ex experience, or maybe, you know what, it's too late, I'm married, I've got a husband, I've got a wife, I have kids, right? I sacrifice for my kids. You know what, I never wanted it anyway. That is a lie. You justify your failures, don't use your kids as an excuse. Use them as a fee, as a motivation. Why you must do something, why you, but not why you can't do something. It's not justifying, it's done nine. The jealous ego. Have you ever say, says like this, rich people are, wow, they are selfish. You know what? It's not that big deal anyway. The jealousy. Don't criticize what you have not done. What, what you're not capable to do. Don't judge. Sometimes I even see on YouTube people judging this, judging that. But you go, you go, go and do it. You upload it, upload a video. You make channels. You impact million people's life until you done it. Don't let this jealous. Sometimes people jealous me like that. Number ten, the fake ego. Have we ever met someone that you don't know them, but the minute you just see them, they have some kind of weird kind of vibe. They are really so weird, I must say that. The reason is, you know, they are so showing off all the time, all their life, right? Maybe they are, they are trying to use expensive mobile phone. They are trying to show off people around them that I am rich. But actually, if you go to their family, you can see their sisters are not starting properly because of the money. Mom is sick, father is sick, brother cannot go to good school, but he or she is showing off a very expensive mobile phone, try to be fake in the society, that she or he is very rich. How fake you are. Don't try to show this fake ego. Show your reality. If you are rich, your surrounding will be rich. Your family will be rich. Your friend, your everything will be rich. But if you show off like this, the fake ego, that you're trying to hold a very good mobile phone, good laptop, good camera, actually your family background is poor. So why do you show this fake ego? I don't get it. You don't know who you are, really. Which one is you? Which one is real you? You lost yourself. Be yourself. Everyone else is taking. 
be yourself. I would rather people hate me because of who I am, but not love me, but who I am not. Don't use this fake ego. You don't need it to be successful. Number 11, that is shy ego. Shy ego, it says, oh, oh, I'm just shy. I'm just introvert. I'm not good with people. I'm just like this. It's okay. I don't like to talk. Just be that. Let's use that as an excuse. You ex use that as your own bubble. You use that as, as your own shell. Stop that. I was a very, very shy person. I was an introvert. When I was a kid, I went to high school. I had no friends. I couldn't speak the language properly. Even now, sometimes when I, when I meet a lot of people, sometimes a little bit awkward. But this is normal. I don't want that to hold me back. I want to be more successful. I want to be rich. I, I have to get outside of my comfort zone. I have to overcome my shyness. That, that's how I do. So there, don't use that in your personality that holds you back. Number 12, the other people opinions people. The other people opinions ego. Do you worry a lot what people think of you? How people perceive you? You know you, you're gonna do something. Oh, what people think of that? What people will think about me? But you think this is right, but you don't do it because you have other people opinions ego. Let people, others people opinion stop you. Do not let other people opinion to stop you. All people, they can be your family, their friends, their colleagues, their high school friends. It doesn't matter. It could be social media, you're uploading a video, posting video, you're making noise, making tense to some of you and some of your haters can write something, anything they want, but you'll stop making videos. You're a loser. Oh, I guess that hurts you, my, your feelings. And you stop doing what is right. Stop doing what is right. That is gonna make you successful. Stop worrying what other people are talking about you. It doesn't matter. Kids haters, haters gonna hate. It doesn't matter. You do what you know that is right number 13 your self ego you don't want to do a lot of things right yourself it just depends on your friends it depends on your brothers your colleagues your co-workers this is not your self ego you have to have a self yourself why it is yourself you have to cut it off you have to do it yourself whatever you want to achieve in life Whatever you want to do in life, you want to learn English, you have to practice yourself. You may not have friends, your brothers, your colleagues and all this. So you got to do it yourself. You have to have a kind of attitude which can help you, motivate you to do something yourself. And that is called your self-ego. I hope this video 13 egos problems you may have. Or if you say that I may not have these types of egos, that would be surprising. So dear friends, dear brothers, sisters, subscribers, any types of friends who are watching me, whoever is watching me, if you think this video can really help you, if you have this sort of egos, try to cut it off. You can go ahead. Be rich for your family. Be rich for your friends. Be rich for your neighbors. Be rich for your country. And be rich for yourself. Being rich, that's not bad. Being rich can make people reach around you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the new video. If you really, really like it, share it on your Facebook, talk to your friends about it, and I will see you in the new video. But don't forget to comment and like to motivate me. Assalamualaikum.